I've genuinely been sat like this for probably like the past half an hour. I even got money to bring the camera in because I don't want to move. Like this is, this is just a comfortable spot. I've got wet hair, I'm watching TV and it's cool. That's the one thing, it's cold here. Like the UK has been so hot this week. To be fair, it's not as hot today, but the last two days... I don't mind heat like when I go abroad I don't mind it but the UK was not built for this weather I swear like I don't want to complain because I do love summer and it has been really nice but at the same time that's why this is not a weekly vlog this is a half week vlog because there's no way I could have vlogged yesterday or the day before like it was just too much this towel is so heavy that it keeps like falling back and I just look like I'm receding which let's not talk about my receding hairline please anyway good morning hello guys welcome to another vlog this week is gonna be so good because birthday i literally love birthdays if you know me i thrive off people's birthdays i love my own obviously but when i can celebrate people i love like my friends or my boyfriend or my family oh my god i'm in my element like i just i'm so excited i've got like this ball of energy inside of me and we've got some really cool work stuff going on this week i'm actually going to mary's missy empire <laughs> Mary's Missy Empire event tonight so I'm really excited about that so I can get dressed up because I've not actually worn like full beat makeup in a while because it's just been so hot which I'm not going to mention again but it is hot. I'm also thinking I'm currently sat here on Pinterest and I'm trying to see what kind of cake I want to make Hannah this year because I've made Hannah a cake for the past I want to say like three years so it's kind of a tradition that I do her birthday cake. So I'm currently looking for some inspo because I feel like I did a pretty good job last year. I think I vlogged it. Yeah, I did vlog it. Um, I did like a chocolate covered strawberry cake. Whereas now I'm thinking, hmm, what is she loving at the minute? I'm trying to think of anything that she said she's liked. But yeah, welcome to the vlog anyway. I'm going to get up in a second because I'm really hungry now. Like I've not had breakfast yet and it's 11. I can show you the breakfast actually that I'm obsessed with in summer. You may find it weird. But I love it. It's literally like eating ice cream Weezabix for breakfast. I hope this is about our shower. Guys, the other morning, right, listen to this. How weird is this? So, apparently I woke up as well. But I, in fact, let me, let me let my knees up for a second. Hello. So, the other day, oh, I still can't believe this happened. The other day, apparently there was a bang in the middle of the night. Now, I could literally sleep through a tornado or through an earthquake like i'm such a deep sleeper apparently there was a bang in the middle of the night and i woke up and looked at manny but i don't i don't remember that it was probably like i was probably half asleep manny got a little bit shook by it but decided oh mads is obviously calm let me go back to sleep so we both went back to sleep and in the morning manny went in the bathroom and was like oh my god oh like i've never heard him screaming like that and i was like babe what the hell is going on like he was literally acting as if he'd just seen a dead body in the bathroom this is what we woke up to in fact i've still got the picture i think i sent it my dad when anything goes wrong in my apartment or with my car the first person i text is my dad do you see that do you see that so we have this like Hello. <laughs> we have this glass screen on our shower and I don't know what happened. Well, we do kind of know what happened, but the screen had just shattered in the middle of the night and it was shattered everywhere, all over the floor. And we was both like, okay. So initially Manny was then checking the apartment because he was like, has someone been in the, in the apartment in the middle of the night? Obviously that hadn't happened because the door was locked and you know, everything was safe and secure. And then I swear to you, Manny was 100% convinced it was a ghost and would not let it go. Like he was so shocked. He was like, Mads, you did not put the Hoover there yesterday. Mads, that wasn't there yet. I was like, babe, come on. It's a new build. It's, we don't even believe in ghosts. We're Christians. One of the maintenance guys came up to like, it's not been fixed yet, but just to have a look at it. And apparently the building like shakes 
that's scary and the more he was telling me about it i thought you know what just don't say anymore like i live quite high up so i don't want to hear anything else so yeah manny's just going to go and get a maintenance guide to see if he can fix it because currently this is what it looks like so this is currently my shower screen oh my god even like there's still little chips coming off it anyways back to breakfast um i've been loving having weetabix at the minute and i have mine cold with frozen raspberries and blueberries it sounds weird but it's really good. I even had a bowl of raspberries and blueberries last night just frozen with milk and Manny was looking at me like I was crazy but it was so good. I always add almond milk and then honey and it's just so good. Um, and then Manny has his warm with Biscoff and then I always put chia seeds on the top. I've just finished off getting ready. I've straightened my hair and this is my outfit of the day. It's still quite hot outside. It's not as hot as it has been. It was literally 38 degrees. So wearing all black, especially long sleeved, was a no-go, but it's cooled down a little bit today. So I've just put this dress on from PLT. I actually love this. I'm gonna link it down below because it's kind of become like my go-to dress. Um, I've got my Balenciaga bag on, Balenciaga tracks, and these sunglasses from Weekday, which they've stopped selling. I'm really upset about that because I was gonna buy another pair. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I actually am going to get my nails done and i feel like i get my nails done in every single vlog but look at these like these are disgusting i can't even show you my toes my toes are so bad i was wearing sandals yesterday and that's when i noticed that you've not had a pedicure in a very long time so i'm gonna go get that done um and then i'm gonna go to my agency catch up with them and we'll see where the day takes us. I made a really awful mistake. So obviously I wanted to go and get a Starbucks before my nail appointment because I'm gonna be in there a while. I'm getting a pedicure and a full set and it's just gonna be a long time. I forgot to order my Starbucks iced. I'm already burning up. So I'm really hoping this salon's gonna be air conditioned because if not, we're in trouble. I'm in home sense and I have this specific cake idea that I wanna do. So it's a heart shaped cake. I can't find a heart shaped tray, but the thing is with me, once I've got something in my head, I've not got a very open mind. Like, I need to do a heart shaped cake now, and I can't find a heart shaped baking tray. So I, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order it on Amazon, which is a bit annoying because I don't know whether it's gonna come tomorrow, but I can't do a circle cake now that I've seen that I can do a heart one. But also I got my nails done. I got like a chrome. I'll show you when I'm home because it's quite busy in town, but I'm very happy with them. I've got an hour to kill before I go and see my agents. So I'm gonna go into Zara because I think the sale's over now and I cannot step foot in Zara when there's a sale on. It stresses me out, I can't do it. No. So I think I'm gonna go have a look at the new inn because Zara's really been lit at the minute and I feel like their new collection might be just as good as the last. All I do in vlogs is get my nails done and shop and that really is just my life so sorry if that's boring. I actually think I said in a video recently that I have a shopping addiction. I've been in the store 10 minutes. This is not okay although Zara is giving once again like they absolutely left no crumbs so I'll do a try and haul when I get home because Busy. The one place on earth that will always remain hot is my apartment. My apartment gets so warm in summer. Um, but I'm back now and we've just had lunch. I literally cooked up a storm. I wanted to vlog, but you know when you're so hungry that you can't think about anything else but food and eating? It's already been and gone. It's in my stomach. But I did have time for dessert and I ordered these on Amazon because I don't know whether you remember my phase of being addicted to Kit Kat bunnies and Malteser bunnies around Easter. And obviously they're an Easter product, but you can find them on Amazon and they got delivered today. So I've been eating these for the past 10 minutes. But I went to my agency. I'm going back tomorrow. And I may or may not have done some more shopping. I genuinely have some sort of addiction. Look at this. I'll show you everything I got anyway because at least 
I don't know, I can share it with you guys. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I actually went into the diesel store in Manchester and it's my second time going in there. It's so good. I saw this dress when I went in the other day and I've not stopped thinking about it ever since. So I've got it. It's this beautiful like, I'm wearing it tomorrow actually, so I'm not gonna try it on, but this is what it looks like. Um, me and Manny have been invited to Peter Street Kitchen, which is our favorite restaurant in Manchester. We've been invited to try their new menu, so we're gonna do date night tomorrow, and I'm gonna wear my new Diesel dress, which I'm so excited! I was gonna save it for Hannah's birthday, but I do already have my outfit for Hannah's birthday planned, which I'll show you on Friday. Um, but I'm gonna wear that tomorrow. Then I also picked up her present, which I can't show you because it's all wrapped up really nicely and she even gift wrapped it for me and everything. But one of my favorite things to give people is jewelry because I got Hannah the LV bracelet like two years ago and I know she wears it every single day. Like I wear mine every day. We've literally been wearing these bracelets now for two years and I don't know, I just feel like you get, the, you get so much out of jewelry and I always see her wearing gold pendants um, and I saw this one in Miso Misoma, I think you pronounce it. And it's like a birthstone in a pendant. And I was like, that's so perfect. It's like a little pink July birthstone. And then I also just got her a bottle of champagne as well. So that's her presents, or like some of her presents sorted. I also went and did some makeup shopping. I should not be allowed to shop alone. So I picked up the new Charlotte Tilbury, air, it's not even new. It's just the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and I've heard so many people talking about this so I'm excited to give it a go but I do feel like I'm cheating on the Urban Decay one because I've literally been using that now for like five years. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. I just picked up this cleanser because I liked the bottle. And I also picked up the moisturizing rich cream from the same brand. I got some hyaluronic acid serum, some more Olaplex because I've just run out, a new vitamin C tonic water, a new beauty blender. And I got this from Natasha Denona. This is the Skin Glass Priming Serum. And when I tell you this, let me show you it on the back of my hand. So it's a serum, but also a primer. And not only does it make your skin feel amazing, look at how beautiful that is. It really does make your skin look like glass. And then I think I'm going to do a little try and haul from Zara. I'm going to chill for a little bit before I start getting ready for Mary's event. I was, oh, I did choose something from her like lineup of things, but it's not come. So I need to think of an outfit as well, which is annoying because I actually had an outfit planned for what I was going to wear. Regardless, we will find something, I'm sure. <laughs> Guys, I've made a terrible mistake. The mistake is not the fringe. The fringe is actually a clip-in fringe from Amazon and I'll explain why I'm wearing it. But I fell asleep. Your girl was chilling and because it's so hot, I fell asleep. So I've had no time to shower, no time to do my makeup, which is why I put a fringe on and then I'm trying to distract with a red lip. This is what we're working with. Wait, I think I'm gonna have to wear these glasses because this makeup has genuinely been on since probably like 9 a.m. And it's currently eight o'clock. So this is what we're working with. So rate the fit out of 10, I give it a three. Don't be rude though. <laughs> say good morning but it's 6 p.m. I haven't just woken up okay I have been working today but the only thing we did that was remotely interesting was we went out for lunch to go and work outside of the apartment but I was on my laptop the whole time so I've not really done that much um but we're going on date night tonight because I think I mentioned this me and Manny are going to our favorite restaurant in Manchester to try their new menu they've kindly invited us down and I'm so excited like whenever anything food related is involved. You already know I'm there. I will cancel all of my plans and I will make sure I'll make it to this, especially because it's my favorite restaurant. So I'm hoping 
the restaurant is all like the, the new menu is as good as the last one because it's so delicious not done my makeup in a while so i'm excited to like do full beat and try some new makeup because i did get quite a bit yesterday so um yeah i'm gonna go start getting ready also all of hannah's cake stuff came today although the tin is a little bit bigger than i thought it would be so what i'm thinking is i might bake it when we get back which may be a mistake because i'm planning on having some wine tonight and i'm thinking am i gonna make this birthday cake tipsy most probably. Yeah, that came today, which I'm very grateful for. Thank God for Amazon Prime. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to update you on. I've hung up my dress for tonight. I actually feel like I'm going on a first date. I don't know what it is. I think because we've not been on like a proper dress up date night for ages, it feels... I don't know, I've got butterflies. But I've poured myself quite a large glass of red wine. So cheers everyone. And oh, I'm not gonna do my hair and makeup first. I'm gonna do my makeup first actually because I think we are running a little bit short on time and we need to start. I've just finished my eye makeup and these lashes are giving, they're so cute. Um, although I have just made a terrible mistake and popped a spot. I don't know why I've done that because I'm literally about to put makeup on it but we're gonna have to roll with the punches at this point um i'm gonna try the new natasha denona skin glass i think i don't really know how to apply this because i've already moisturized and stuff even though it's a serum and you meant to put serum underneath but it is a serum primer so i'm just gonna go in with it oh my god see anything that will make my skin look like glass or look super glowy almost as if i've just been for a 5k run that's my vibe at the minute, like, that's how I love my skin to look. By the way, I did a TikTok recently using new makeup, and I tried this Fenty Beauty, like, eye brightener, and it's so good. I've literally used it every day since. It goes really well under your makeup because it just kind of, like, counteracts the dark under eyes. I don't know what foundation to wear because I've only been wearing skin tints recently, but I'm quite in the mood. To wear a good like medium coverage foundation today i don't want it to be super heavy but i just want it to be heavier than normal so i just don't know what to use i can't remember what my favorite foundation is okay, i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury flawless filter first just because i love the way this looks under foundation i do still love my iconic one but i'm just in the mood to change up my makeup a little bit today also, update on the birthday plans. I've got my birthday plans sorted. I feel like I'm super organized this year because all the other years, I've just kind of left it to the last minute. I think even last year, I don't even think I celebrated it with my friends last year. We did a little bit of something. This year, I'm so ready to go all out. And let me tell you, I don't want to spoil it because I'm gonna save it for the vlog, but it's gonna be a really good birthday. I don't know what I'm doing on my actual birthday because it's a surprise, but the weekend with my friends is gonna be so fun. I'll tell you, the, should I tell you the theme? The theme's pink. Guys, this is your sign, if you ever think about it, not to pop a spot before you do your makeup. Like, look, it may not look it on camera, but that is genuinely the size of a golf ball, so that's good. I've definitely jinxed it though because I did say probably like two days ago like oh my god my skin's really good at the minute. Like why does that always happen? I feel like I look so weird with full beat. Like I've genuinely not done this much makeup in a while and I don't really know how I feel about it anymore. I'm gonna go finish off getting ready. I'm gonna do my hair and then we can put the dress on. I've not even tried it on yet because I wanted to try it on and have like a Cinderella moment. You know what I mean? So if this looks bad, then I'll be upset. Okay, this dress gave me the moment that I needed. By the way, I don't know what's going on with my hair. I didn't have enough time. But the dress, I feel like I don't even have to do my hair because this dress is so cute. What? I just paired it with my diesel bag because I kind of wanted to match. And then I've got my Amina Mawadi heels on. 
and this really is the moment so hopefully i'll be able to get some sort of instagram content because that is instagram content is honestly the last thing on my mind right now like i'm so over instagram i would have loved to vlog but it's so loud and my shouting voice is so annoying but we've got a margarita this is like a lemon and honey margarita thank you so much You will never believe what I did last night. So we probably got through a bottle and a half of wine and then we had the cocktails as well. So we drank a fair bit and I came home and got this sudden urge to bake the cake. Like, I definitely said while I was there, there's no way that I'm going to go home and do that. I need to, like, have a bit more of a clear head. And I'm going to show you the outcome because I don't know what I was thinking. It's literally a broken heart. But I'm thinking if I can cover it in icing, then we should be all good. Um, but I'm just getting ready to go for brunch or, like, I'm not even going for brunch. I'm going for coffee with my mom. Um, we've got a little cafe, like, in our building, so I'm just going to go meet her and gonna have a little catch up i've not seen her this week so um yeah we're just gonna have a little catch up and then i need to get quite a few bits sorted today i need to ice hannah's cake i need to i can't even remember what i need to do today i just know that i've got quite the list of tasks to complete so let me show you this cake first and foremost because you're literally gonna die i've just been watching the new love island i've just been catching up on it but this is the cake right don't laugh it looks burnt on camera i swear it's not but i don't know what happened here i feel like i don't know what i was trying to do i think i was trying to flatten it a little bit because it was a bit high it tastes really good so what i'm thinking is i'm just gonna ice it and hope for the best but the fact that i did this drunk i'm very impressed i did have to carve it out a little bit because it wasn't an obvious heart um but yeah if i cover this in icing and put some candles in it it's gonna look like i don't know i've just made this in primary school and i've brought it to my mom and gone love you mom yeah i'm just gonna go and throw something on because i think my mom's almost here and we'll go for a coffee with my mama guys look at these oh my god these are cinnamon buns donuts cookie oh I'm gonna make them cook it, some of them cook it. Could you do that? No, I'm making them, them up they for me. Ice cream on ice cream cookies. They were making them yesterday on the yeah. TV and I thought I'm gonna the I'm gonna need some of them. Sorry, I actually look scary today. I feel like this is the first time in a while that I feel semi hungover. Do you feel hungover, babe? Yeah. We do need to run into town and I was thinking I'm gonna try my Zara order on, so if I need to take anything back and I can do that. The only thing that I know doesn't fit was this, which is so gorgeous. And I'm so sad because this was actually one of my favorite pieces. But my boobs are just way too big. Like, there was no way they would go in that. Okay, so first off, we have this little set. It kind of looks like a pajama set. But it's this shirt and short combo. I feel like this is nice just for like a chilled out dinner like you could put heels on with this or you could just wear like sandals but i feel like for a nice chilled dinner on holiday this is really cute color stunning and then i probably wear them separately as well like you could wear the shirt open with a bikini or you could even just wear the shorts with a bikini as well um but yeah this was the first thing i saw when i walked in the store actually and i really liked it this is piece number one. I can't wait to try this dress on. This is so cute. This is like a, a pink backless like halter neck dress. I'm really struggling to tie this at the back, but hopefully you can kind of get the gist. I wasn't 100% sure whether I was going to like this on or not because it's not as like figure hugging as I like my dresses. But I love it. Like the back of this is so stunning. I mean, obviously when it's sat, properly and this is tied this is what it's gonna look like and obviously i'm gonna steam it but this is so cute i wasn't sure on this one initially but 
I think I love it. So it's these like crochet pants, but they kind of look like, it's like patchwork. I don't know if you can see my nipples, so I'm gonna hold that. Um, but it's like patches of like different crochet. And this is really cute, but I think I will probably crop this top. I think the only thing that I'm gonna send back is the corset top, just because like I said, my boobs don't fit in it, but everything else, will be coming on holiday with me. I can't move this hand. Never been more stressed in my entire life. So I've just finished getting ready. I wanted to film the whole process, but I felt so overwhelmed today. I don't know who I think I am drinking like that at 24 and thinking it's not gonna hit me the next day, but I'm ready to have a shot of tequila and then hopefully that will pull me back around somehow. Um, but listen to this, so, I've ordered all of my cooking stuff, like I ordered a cake tray, I ordered some decorations, I ordered icing, and my parcel, what was it babe? Stolen. It got stolen. Someone has taken my baked goods. We're gonna have to ice this with the only icing cream we could find, and it's chocolate. It's a vanilla cake with chocolate frosting, but I'm thinking it's the thought that counts. So I've had to go and find some birthday candles. This is all stuff that I ordered online, but obviously it's not come. And then I thought I could decorate it with these like little cherries. I think that would be quite cute because I didn't know what to decorate it with. So I'm going to really quickly ice this cake because we're meant to be going in like now. Also, I did have a meltdown because the outfit I was going to wear, this isn't even what you're supposed to ice with, but it's all I have on hand um the outfit i was gonna wear looks terrible so i won't be oh my god this is gonna be so bad it looks good from the top so maybe we just tell us a look from the top and not from anywhere else i hope you're impressed with this work by the way the fact that we're doing this so quickly i think that looks okay do you know what i mean from the top it looks fine it's just from the sides it's probably not great okay I put my outfit on. Manny did the writing. I'm going to show you the cake in a second, but this is what I'm wearing. It's from with Jean. I've got my Bottega bag, and these heels are actually from Public Desire, but they are they are high, aren't they? So hot. I feel like I'm going to struggle in with these, um, but I really love this. I wasn't originally planning on wearing this. My outfit was pink, but it just wasn't wasn't giving. So. Um, yeah, this is the vibe. Okay, so now for the cake. I don't know how I'm gonna transfer this to Hannah's because someone stole my cake carrier. Like, who steals a cake carrier? They're probably thinking they're getting something incredible from Amazon, but it's all baking stuff. Um, but this is the final outcome. I think that's so cute. I just don't know how we're gonna transfer it onto something, if I'm honest. We need to put it on like a baking tray. Oh yeah. I've got this PR parcel from um, Mark Hill. That could work really well. What does it say on the box? What size do you prefer? So this is why being with a creative comes in handy. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God, that's actually fit perfect. After all the stress, we're ready. Manny's helping me carry it down. It even closes and the cherries don't mess up, so. I feel like that was a good team effort. Actually, that was all you. Birthday girl is here. Right, this is probably the best I've ever seen you look, by the way. Really? Honestly. Like, let's wait. Go. Give give us a moment. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, There's margaritas being I mean, made. This was a gift off Rachel. That's actually such a good idea. Such a good idea because I mean did I buy myself one as well? Yeah, I did. Like, <laughs> there was no way I was gonna get my salt out and just like oh, I'm a half a ring girl though, so I yeah. just like oh sorry. Well that's a ring job. <gasps> Look at the margarita, oh, it's sorry. bright green. <laughs> it is track themed at this point, like we're just No, it look it. it tastes good though, so that's all that really matters. Yeah. Wait, delicious. Oh, wow. <laughs> Listerine. <laughs> so we're going in a Rolls Royce tonight. Don't ask me how I've just like found this so last <laughs> What? I literally yeah. told us probably like two hours ago when we was like, what? <laughs> wow. For the birthday girl. I forgot to vlog but we ate <laughs> and it was so good. We literally cleaned off everything. Make a wish, baby girl. Blow out this spark. 
This is the fire. 